So this is the second part of the Newton's second law required practical for AQA GCSE. One thing I didn't mention on the first video is that the setup of the track, although it looks horizontal, is actually on a slight downward slope. Now the reason for the downward slope is because we want to try and eliminate the effect of friction in our experiment. There is friction everywhere, in the bearings of the wheels, on the surface um, of the track. So what we do is we set up the track with a slight downward slope. And the way that you check that is if you roll your, your trolley, what it should do is roughly travel at a steady speed. Now, if the track were horizontal, the car would slow down. If the track were too steep, the car would speed up. And what you want to get is a car that doesn't really speed up or slow down as it goes along. Actually, we'll leave that to there. So, it, that's the same for both methods. To eliminate friction, you need a slope which compensates for friction. And that's called, funnily enough, a friction compensated slope. Now, the method to this is very similar to the method where we investigated how force affects acceleration with a constant mass. But in this experiment, what we're going to do is going to use a constant accelerating force. So that means that the amount of masses that we have on our hanger is going to remain constant throughout. So the force is the same. What's going to change is the mass on the trolley. So using the same ideas as before, Check that your data logger is set up correctly on your laptop, and then you allow the car, sorry, the trolley to run through the light gate. And you repeat your experiment three times. And remember, you are looking at your results as you do the experiment to find out if any of your results are anomalous, in which case, repeat that particular result again or remove it from your calculations. So then, this time, I take the mass and I leave it out. The force is still the same, but the trolley is now having less mass. Three repeats again, take away the mass. Three repeats again, and keep removing the masses each time you take your three repeats. So remember, this is the method for investigating how the mass of the trolley is, effect, is affecting the acceleration. It's a constant force because the force is not changing, but it's a changing mass because the mass is being removed from the trolley. So just to repeat, this is the method for the required practical AQA, Newton's second law, the effect of mass on acceleration.